All right, hello and welcome back to another video here on Wild Warner Outdoors. Today is a uh, precursor to the next video coming up. Today I am going to be reviewing my 2024 kayak fishing setup. Today was the first day I was able to get out on the kayak after a full day of fishing. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and um, tell you my plans, go walk through of all the accessories and stuff I have on it. So let's get right into it. Folks, this is the kayak right here. It is a Vibe Yellowfin 100 kayak. It is a 10 foot kayak and the reason I wanted this guy is because I cannot fit a kayak bigger than 10 feet in the back of my Suburban. So I can't fit a kayak bigger than 10 feet in my truck, so I need something kind of small and compact that can fit my truck. I can move around by myself. Um, so otherwise there's no way I'd ever be able to transport a 12 foot, 13 foot kayak. Yeah, those ones are kind of nice, um, but I would need to get a trailer of some sorts to be able to move it. So this fits perfectly for me. Um, I got it off of Facebook Marketplace this uh, winter, and today's the first time I was, able, I was able to get it out on the water, and I'll tell you what, it was pretty nice. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna start from the top and work my way back. Uh, for the top here, I've got carry handle. It's not the best. I kind of there's oh there's a spider. I know this even this same kayak has different models that have different uh, carry handles, and these ones aren't the best, but honestly they work. I don't need anything crazy, so this works just fine. Um, so I've got the handle up there. And right now, I've got the GoPro clamped to the footrest right here. So it's not the most stable thing in the world. Um, but for today, this is all I had. Uh, so I was doing that and rocking the GoPro chest mount. So I do plan on putting a GoPro mount right here on the kayak to stick up and out. So that way you guys can get a good look of me while I'm fishing. Next back we've got front hatch right now, currently nothing in there. This actually goes back pretty much the entire length of the kayak. The center piece is hollow. Um, so if I wanted to, if I want to do like a kayak fishing camping trip and I need to bring a tent and food and water and all this stuff, I can store a ton of gear inside of here all the way down on, on the bottom side of the kayak. So let me know down in the comments below if you want to see some adventure type videos like that. Um, but I might end up making some sort of putting some sort of bag in here so I can keep things um, kind of organized and close that I don't use that much like extra rope. Uh, maybe an extra paddle or something along those lines. So for now, this works. I don't really need to use it. Um, I got away with today just fine without it, so maybe I'll put a bag in here and then I can take it out and put stuff under if I need to, but for the most part, a bag would be very helpful. There's this hole drilled right here. I believe someone, the previous owner probably had fish finder of some sorts and the battery with the cables running through here. So that is something I plan on doing. I might have one already, I just need to find it. Um, I can mount it up right here and it'll be perfect. I just gotta get the transducer, the battery, everything all figured out. Um, so whenever I want to, that's gonna be perfect. I can, it's already got a hole drilled for me. A little tray for parts and lures and then cup holder there. Makes it really nice just to throw random stuff like barber stops or pliers or salmon egg, bobbers, all that good stuff. Just throw it in there, don't have to worry about it sliding around. It's just kind of easy, just kind of easy, quick access stuff. Um, on the other side, on the other side, I've got it. I already had this Scotty Pro Track mount, I think is what it's called. Um, so I went ahead and bought this, this set up here as an extra rod holder. I don't necessarily need it um, because this already comes with one two, three, and four flush mount rod holders. So it's perfect. I can have one net, one rod in the back, 
Uh, most of the time I'm never taking more than two, uh, never take more than three. Usually it's more like two rods. So you have a net, two rods, and if I need to a third one, um, this is just kind of, I bought it and I figured I'd take it out and show you guys how um, I can set that up. Maybe if I do catfishing or carp fishing out of the kayak, this will be easier than this. I don't know, we'll find out. And then moving back, we've got the center hatch. Right now I just have some camera gear and uh, I kept my phone in here all day, so stuff like that. Uh, nice, able to lock and seal things in there without having to worry uh, them getting lost. So that's nice, having it right, easy access. And then on this side, there's another rail mount for accessories. This might be where I end up putting a transducer. If not, I have plenty of space I can mount more rail mounts if I want to. So I might end up doing that. Uh, but for now, nothing is going on there. Then we got the seat. Something I am very happy about is the sit on top kayak seats. Uh, before, with my sit in, my green sit in kayak, as you guys have seen in videos past, that seat is not very comfortable. There's no real adjustments on it. This guy has a ton, ton of adjustment and it's super comfortable. And just in general, I can lean back, lean forward, sit straight up, do whatever I want to do that makes me more comfortable while I'm out on the water. The other one, it was either you had one place to sit in and that was it and you're basically sitting on hard plastic. So this one, super nice, super comfortable. Really enjoy that. Yes, as you can see from today, we had a little bit of success. Let's see if I can stand on here. Behind the kayak, I kept my life jacket for today. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a life jacket that is more comfortable to sit, so it's not uh, while I'm sitting in the chair, it's not so big and bulky. But I kept one on the vessel. Then going to the back, I got my net, which I didn't really need for today because all the trout I was catching were, you know, a pound or two. That size, you don't need to net them. But even these guys, was I was netting them because it was so easy to get them in there, keep them in the water, unhook them, release them, and these ones I ended up keeping. Just makes your life a whole lot easier. And then on this side, we got the paddle holder. So the paddle just sits right in there, just with bungee straps in, and it's super nice when I'm fishing, dealing with the fish, uh, if I stop, um, and anchor up and I'm casting out bait bait rods. I can put it there, keep it out of the way. And if I need it, it's just one quick movement away to access it. So that's super nice. Um, there's actually another one on this side. However, the plastic piece is broke. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't need to. Um, as long as the other one's working, that's just fine for me. Uh, eventually I'll fix that, but for right now it's not a big concern. Then I've got my milk crate here. Uh, today I just had a few tackle boxes, some food, some water. Um, so yeah, in my milk crate, I just have two bungees holding it down and all the stuff I was able to fit in there just fine. Eventually, I'm gonna make a more custom milk crate that is a little more permanent of a solution, but for now, again, it works just fine. Then I've got my makeshift uh, kayak cart. It really does not work that well at all. Um, so I'm going to make a, an, again, I'm gonna make another more permanent solution of landing gear. Um, so I'm going to make a, an, again, I'm gonna make another more permanent solution of landing gear that come out and I can flip up and they just stay on the kayak always. But for now, this it works enough. And yeah, that's pretty much the walkthrough on my 2024 kayak fishing setup. So there you have it folks, my 2024 kayak fishing uh, setup review on the Vibe Yellowfin 100 series. Final thoughts on it, when I was out on the water, I think because I had literally nothing in the first third of the boat, um, all the weight was me sitting there, weight back there, because I had an anchor and all my gear in there. Um, it did make the back, the front end of the boat wanting to stick up and made it not so stable. So that was my only complaint of the kayak itself, but honestly, I moved some things up front that'll probably fix it. So I'm very happy with the kayak. I got so many different things I wanna do with it. I wanna go kayak, carp fishing, uh, cat fishing, bass, trout, sunfish, you name it, fly fishing, spear fishing, you know it. Uh, you name it, I wanna do it. So you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see me do out of this kayak right here and I will go ahead and try and do it. Um, please hit that subscribe button here to Wild Warner Outdoors and remember guys, stay wild. I'll see you later.